I like cooking and having people over and, and encouraging them to do better. Like, you know, I when one of the moments I remember that I enjoyed the most, you know, between the times of making records and going on the road was uh, having people stop by. Like, it, it was a type of ambiance in my crib that, that I maintained over the years. Like, I have a bag of white, like, tube socks, like brand new socks. You come out the street, take them fucking shoes off, and if you got your fucked up socks on, nobody cares about your holes in your socks, probably your favorite socks, don't matter. Get a new pair of socks, take it with you when you leave. And I would cook, I was, you know, I smoke, cook. When you come over, you can't talk about your baby mama. Actually you can, but you only get 30 seconds for that. Then after that, everybody's speaking on solutions. So if people come over, um, lay out on the floor, smoke, eat, and just relax. And when they leave there, you can tell like they left a different person. A little young boy up the block, you know, he come to the crib. I'm like, put the gun in the room. You're not going back outside with it. Because you're gonna do something stupid. You don't have a problem with nobody. You're just running around being reckless. So it was like a refuge, like almost so like a hip hop refuge. Like, and it was dope because dudes outside, they rolling dice. Yo, P, I think you got some people out here. Like it was this mad community. like. And that's what I enjoy doing. I like cooking, like, you know, and people, I got a cooking function coming up, like, you know, and I'm trying to infuse cooking with hip hop just to try to veer off and go into a new direction of just getting people to eat better. Like, you know, they don't, whenever you go to the extreme with people, cause a lot of people's going vegan, instead of, instead of telling them you should go vegan, you just make it and let them, let it grow on them. Like, you know, it's, it's, I think that better eating you know, we lost a lot of people over the last 15 years. Like, nobody's making it to 55, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I think it's just important that people start treating themselves better, eating better. But not only that, it's mind, body, and soul, too, because people are eating better, people are working out, but people are stressed the fuck out. So if you don't have your your mental, uh, you don't have your mental perspective of that, of that spectrum, you're still losing. That's how a lot of people's having heart attacks, because when you're stressing, you letting your body work out, you're eating right, but your mind is not in the right place. Therefore, it's, n it's not making a proper connection with your body. And I just, you know, I just want to try to contribute to betterment in the future, like any other way, any way I can. You know, I can't just do that through music. So I figure food, but I'm a fucking beast in the kitchen. I'm not even going, I'm not even being conceited about it. I'm a fucking problem. I am. Yeah, I, I've been having people tell me I should get a truck. You know, it sounds crazy. I'm like, uh. In Cali, when I, when I mentioned truck before, they was like, oh, you want to... Roach coach? I was like, what the fuck is a roach coach? That's what they call them out here. I said, nah, I wouldn't want something that's nicknamed a, a roach coach. But I'll stay my getting a restaurant. Uh, but you know, something that you can, you know, something with like five tables. I don't want you just coming in and getting too comfortable. Don't you take it home, with your legs out, with your crown on, just, just like, just gritty soul, you know. And and it's better eating, you know, just better preparation with the food. You know what I'm saying? So, and then like my friends, they be coming over like, yo, this is your really, this is your other passion. Like it's, it's the perfect medium to, 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 to challenge hip hop, you know? Cause it is about rhythm with the food too. You know what I mean? So that's my new venture that I'm getting to. And one of the things that I would encourage to the young people, one of the things I would say to the young youth, the future is complete what you started. A lot of times, you know, oh, you know, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And what I mean by complete what you start, meaning you create the music, dope rhymes, you got dope lyrics, but have something that somebody else can carry, like something in the lyrics. But more so now that the music is finished, learn how to interact with people. Learn how to, instead of being like, yo, check this out. Like, that's the fucking worst shit for me to scroll down my page, just check this out. Like, who the fuck are you? Like, you're supposed to say, Hope all is well, when y'all have time or when time permits, check out my song. See, that comes off to me like you're more confident. When you say check out my shit, it's just come up like you, you hoping your shit hit. Like, nah, I want a person that's going like, yo, you know, you get a time and your spare time, when time permits, check my shit out, I think you would like it. Yeah, I look at that shit, i like, nah, I got two minutes. You know, when you just tell me, check it out, it's a new hit. I'm like, did the people say that shit was a hit? That shit ain't no fucking hit. Until the people say it's a hit. So to the young people, I would say, complete what you start. Learn how to, I mean, um, adapt to using your people skills to present your music. 
whether you're online or in person, and get back to the interaction in person so you can feel the emotion. When you texting and you online all day, I could be in a, 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 a fucked up mood over here, and you could be in a great mood. How are we going to be on the same page when we're texting something that has no emotion in it? So be proud of your music and finish what you start. First, you got to be the artist. Then you got to be the, the seller. You got to be the marketer. You got to be the customer agent. You got to be the person that goes out there and presents your music. And another thing, don't have 19 MCs in your, in your circle. You know what I'm saying? It needs to be one or two stars. We don't need 25,000 people on the stage where I can't tell who's rhyming because the nigga rhyming is too short and I can't see his ass. Shit like that. Like, you know, get a collective that's for one cause. Two stars, everybody else is on a team because the photographer is important. Um, the DJ is very important. The homie carrying the equipment is very important. The other homie that's selling the t-shirt is very important. That's how teams win. You know what I'm saying? And nobody's winning. Nobody's going to win without a team these days. You need a strong team. So I, I would encourage the young people to formulate your unit better. You know what I'm saying? Don't have 19 rappers. Have people that specialize in other things. It's dope to be a photographer and be around the camera. It's dope. You know, to be the producer, and that's all you do. There was a period of time where, you know, you meet somebody, they produce, they rap, they promote all the shows, they own the flower shop, and I'm just like, there's too many hats being worn here. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, as I said, jack of all trades, a master of none. So many of them right now. So many. Like, yo, I did my album in two months, and I shot my video in another month. I'm like, and it looks like that. It looks like you did it in one month. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What I got music-wise, what I'm cooking up is a new solo album. Um, I'm gonna have OC on that one. I'm still debating whether I'm gonna have Monch on it or not, because you know we always rock out together. But you know he always support me and vice versa. But I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna figure out if it makes sense. Um, working on a new solo album. I'm working on this like jazz grunge record with a, a cat from overseas. He's just a, a music enthusiast. He don't want to get deep into business. So it's another experimental record. And then I'm doing something with uh, with 45 King record label too, as well, you know, uh, with my man Precise. Shout out to Precise out in Denver. So, you know, just working, man. Just trying to stay busy. Besides the cooking, it's going back and forth to the studio, working on songs. It's going to be a very emotional album because it's like I'm showing, I'm going to be displaying my, my angry side and my and my intelligent side of, of where I evolved to. Because like, you know, now I'm finding it that I've, I've obtained more wisdom. I'm starting to be more irritated because I have to exercise patience with the same impatient motherfuckers. So it's like you get more patience, you're still dealing with impatient people, and then you got the instant gratification of texting and social media, you know, so.